You get to your stats page on Bitly by clicking stats in the menu bar while signed into your Bitly account. There's lots of different components to this page, so we'll start with the top. You can see uh, your all of your links, starting with your most recently saved link, and then in backwards chronological order. So you see the link preview. You can copy your short link if you'd like. You can see how many clicks the link has received. This is your Bitly link. And then you can see total clicks. Total clicks represents all clicks on all Bitly links that have been saved that direct back to that long URL. And total saves represents how many times that long URL has been saved with Bitly. So for this particular link, I can see that my link has gotten 26 clicks and all three of the links that direct back to this long URL have in total received 30 clicks. So that's pretty good. I've, I'm have i single-handedly responsible for 26 of the 30 clicks on this link. So that's interesting information to see. Up here you can sort by date created, clicks on your link, so it might take a while to load, but then you can see my links that have received the most clicks total. Alright, so then scrolling down you can see this bar graph represents all of the clicks on your links for the past 30 days. We only show you stats for the past 30 days with a basic Bitly account. If you click on one of the days in the bar graph, it'll drop down and it'll show you which one of your short links has received clicks on that day. So on May, on May 17th, we had 318 clicks on our links, 80 of which were from this blog post from the blog, and 48 were from this bundle, and so on and so on. You can also sort this as well. You can sort by uh, how many links you created that day, and if you, don't, if you want to see a smaller frame of time, like the past seven days, you can do that as well. Once again, same thing, you can click and drop down your stats. Then at the bottom you're going to see two pie charts. Refers represents uh, what domains you're receiving traffic from. So we can see that a lot of our links come from our support page. People click on our bit.ly links from the knowledge base. People click on our links from Twitter and Facebook. A lot of people ask us what do email clients, IM, Air Apps, and Direct mean? This can represent several different things, but examples of direct traffic like this would be if someone pastes the short link directly into their browser, or if someone clicks on a short link from their email, or if someone clicks on a short link from an instant messenger chat. This will all fall into the email clients and direct refers chart. To the right, you can see the locations pie graph, and this represents where, uh, country-wise, people were when they clicked on your link. So we can see that most people are clicking on our links from the United States, but people also click on our links from the UK and Germany and India, Canada, so on. Uh, you can click more to see all of the referrers in all of the countries. People sometimes ask, what does unknown mean? Because as you can see, 39% of our traffic comes from unknown. We find location information based off IP address. So if it's an IP address and we aren't able to associate it with a country, we put it under unknown.